Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Blessed to Fish. So we have it finished. As far as we're gonna finish it right now, the trailer is working. I'm able to put our kayaks up on it, take them where I need them to go. There's a few things I still wanna to add to it. Um, but for right now, it's finished and able to pull our kayaks. Let's take a look. All right, so we'll start up here at the front and go over what we did up here. The only thing we really did up here is we ran new wiring for the lights. Uh, and then I added a two inch ball hitch instead of a one and seven eighth inch ball itch. And so that's the only change we made up here. We kept the same uh, wheel lift. Um, it seems to work pretty good, so there's no reason to change that out. So here we go. It's the exact same on both sides. So we'll see what we did here. We made it all out of Unistrut um, with some adapters. We found a T adapter here, and then we put up a like a four or five inch riser with another adapter there to add the top piece here. And it goes all the way across. I made that 78 inches uh, long. And then I ended up, we put three of those across. I really didn't need three, but there was a reason why I put three. We really only needed the one in the back and the one in the front, but I wanted this one here in the middle. So then I could put my second layer on. It'll be my second level when I get around to needing a, another kayak to put on there. Um, where we can go here, attach a, a bar here going out and a bar back there going out, um, screw them in, and that'll give me another place to put a kayak on this side of the boat, or I mean this side of the trailer. So right now I could carry three uh, kayaks um, if I wanted to. I'm still gonna try and figure out it may take a little welding to put some pieces on this side for me to be able to carry a fourth one. But right now, I'm carrying two. And if I want to carry three, I can. Um, and we're good to go. Uh, what I'm going to do up here is I'm getting uh, two six-inch PVC pipes uh, for rod holders. I'm going to put one on each side. Um, PVC pipe is expensive. Eight-inch PVC pipe is enormously expensive so i'm just going to go with six inch and get two of them so if i'm fishing by myself i'll be able to put plenty of poles on there if someone else is coming with me we can get their poles in there as well and whatnot so the pvc pipe here we just bought regular pvc pipe um it's probably the cheapest one you can get it was 23 dollars for a 10 foot section and i originally cut it out cut it to end right here and that's where I cut it, and I said, oh, that'll be perfect. The boat will be able to, the kayak will hang over a little bit. It'll be perfect. But as I was pulling it back, this kayak here kept catching on the ends of them. So I said, I don't, I, so I guess I need to extend the PVC pipes out. So what I did is I just added the piece that I cut off and put it right back on there. So that worked out great. Um, so the PVC pipe comes all the way out. The boats sit on them nicely. Uh, and then on the back, I added, added uh, some 45 degree angles and just with about a foot or so pipe coming off. So when I'm pulling the uh, kayak up out of the water, just give something for it to catch up to and guide it up onto the PVC pipes. I added uh, the tail lights, license plate holder, just the normal stuff in the back, nothing big. And then to strap the Kayaks down, I added four retractable ratchets and then a D-ring on the other side. And as you can see, that one connects right in there and goes right over. And then the front one here does the same thing. So I loaded two kayaks up on it the other day or yesterday, drove them around. They didn't move. They didn't budge. It was actually pretty smooth pulling them around. So that's how I turned a old boat trailer. I think it was an old John boat trailer. Um, it was in my last video, if you can watch how I actually put it together. And then now we have a functioning two to three kayak capacity trailer. And the motor here for my uh, Old Town Autopilot 120 fits perfectly. Like I have it down 
So if I'm traveling short distances, I could just leave it in the boat, strap it down, and when I get there, I'm good to go. If I'm traveling longer distance, I'd probably take it out. No reason to cause damage if you don't need to. And then I haven't put anything back on the new kayak yet. I want to flip it over. I'm going to mount the transducer on the bottom to get rid of one of the things up on top and make it less cluttered. Now that I have a trailer to put it on, the transducer will fit just perfect underneath there. So that's our trailer. Um, very proud of how it came out. Very excited that it came out almost as I thought it would. And it didn't break the bank. I'm probably materials plus the trailer, which I got for $150. i am probably like around $450, $500 bucks at the most. I don't think I spent that much. I didn't add it up, but I don't think I'm at that price yet. So for under $500, bucks, um, I was able to build myself a tandem kayak trailer uh, with the possibility of putting one or two more kayaks on it. So that's our trailer. Hey, thanks for watching. Bless the fish and get out there and, and hit the waters and enjoy your time. Thanks for watching.